Alliances are one of the great tools that we have, and the strength of those alliances magnify our own strengths. One of those strengths, one of those strengths, is the unapologetic defense of liberty. This is the core element of American exceptionalism and why America must and will remain a superpower. The exceptionalism that defined America from the start became the standard by which every other free people measure themselves and the standard by which we should measure ourselves. America might have its ups and downs, but the assumption has long been that American power would always be there, reliable, strong, present, and ready. We have always been the indispensable nation, and we always will be. To that end, we must consider the elements that make us indispensable, and I'll touch on a few. This requires extraordinary foresight and vision that is able to transcend political ideologies, a matching long-term strategy that lays out a roadmap to keep us on track despite the massive hurdles that we may encounter along that path, the right processes to review the assumptions to determine validity and meaning that form our strategy, and lastly, some means of measuring whether it's working or not, and being honest and accountable to ourselves. Given those elements, and even in extremely difficult times, we have never, we have never lost our sense of America or what it is, or what it means to be an American, and the idea of American exceptionalism. Faced with some of the darkest days of civil and foreign wars, economic depression, and many recessions that we've gone through, weak leadership at home, or hostile threats from abroad, the American people always maintain their faith in the uniqueness of our democratic experiment, which produced the greatest force of economic growth and innovation and the greatest model for liberty the world has ever known. That has not and will not ever change.